we have for you the 2022 Range Rover Sport HST. Yo. You, you want me to take a ride with you? Welcome to Post Rally Testing. I'm your guy, Country. I'm your man, Zach. And today, we have for you the 2022 Range Rover Sport HST, accompanied by your very own Attack Dog. I'm excited because I am a luxury vehicle guy. I love my sports cars, I love my utility cars, I love my big trucks, but I am a luxury SUV guy through and through, and I love Range Rovers. As far as the aesthetics go, front end goes, what do you think? Well, first thing that caught my eye is that you got the Country Beard starter kit coming in nice. Yo, I like this. What's Unreal. going on there? I'm trying to get more like you, bro. Can we focus on the car, please? Not okay. my facial hair. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to focus on the car. First thing, I'm a big fan, and maybe people are not, but I love the white and black combination, period. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's a Range Rover. <laughs> Plus, it's a Range Rover. Can't really go wrong. Yeah. Because this being the Range Rover Sport HST model, that is why you get these black features. So you got the black Range Rover badging in front, beautiful black grille with some black air vents down at the bottom, and these black air vents over on the hood. And I love the front end, the iconic front end of a Range Rover. I love the way their LED headlights look. It's just an iconic, iconic SUV in its class. This is luxury as luxury gets uh -huh. in the SUV. Look at these rims, man. Oh my God. Look at these rims. They know how to do everything right. Everything right. Everything right. Not only they got the rims, look at the calibers. Now granted, I think you would say that about any manufacturer that throws black wheels on I there. Would, I, I would, I would, I would, I would. Oh, but, you wanna win me over? <laughs> put black rims on it. But Range Rover certainly does do it right. And this owner opted for the 22 inch option. So this is, this is not the standard wheel. This is a bigger wheel that comes with the car, makes it look meaner, more aggressive, and it looks really nice. And it just sits so much nicer on that larger rim. And as you touched on that beautiful red brake caliber, it contrasts perfectly with the high gloss black and the white exterior. And do you know what this white is actually called? What Range Rover actually calls this white? I'm gonna say it get, it's like a pearl white to me. Pearl is not a bad guess. They call it Fuji white, F-U-J-I, Fuji. Just confusing, it's pearl white. It's Fuji white, man, all right? Fuji! Part, part of the HST package is the black mirror caps. I love that, and the black trim around the door handles. One of country's favorite features, as always, is this does have the keyless entry. So you can come up to it, touch it, and the car will lock or unlock. No fumbling for the key as long as it's on your person somewhere close enough to the car. I do like this right here. It's a little bit of a gimmick because it doesn't let too much airflow. Range Rover will tell you it's for better gimmick. airflow. It's a little bit of a gimmick. It's more for an aesthetic, but I like it a lot. It looks nice, and I think without it, I think I would, I, I like it with it than I would more without it. Well, I'm gonna tell you this. I love this right here. It's not too many times you're gonna see the handles where it normally is just one complete color. And Fuji white. Oh, Ooh, Fuji. look at you. Someone's, Fuji. Pay, someone's paying attention for once. Now, my one of my favorite features about some luxury vehicles is this option the soft closed doors. That's right. I love that. That's always a nice sign that you are in a luxury vehicle, unless you're riding around in a G-Wagon, that's a completely different story. You have to slam this door. If I try to close this door regular, it's not closed. Now take a look at just the size of just this rear door, man. I mean, this car, it being a sport model, it is slightly smaller than, you know, let's say a Range Rover uh, SVR or a Range Rover Autobiography, where it's that full bodied, big bodied Range Rover. But this car is not um, as small as you would think it is with it being the sport version, you know, of, of, of the Range Rover lineup. As we come to the side profile, take a look as we were talking earlier at that nice black high gloss piano black on the top. One thing I love about Range Rovers, and it's been this way for a while, barely any 
if at all, chrome on the exterior of the car. You Thank won't see, you, you, won't, you'll, you will rarely Thank see chrome you. on the outside of the car. And I really, really think Chrome it is adds. getting played out. Chrome is like that moment where like, remember when people had spinners <laughs> and like, you know, they threw these rims on and but the rim was spinning. Like, that's how I feel like about chrome. That's how you feel about chrome? Yeah. I I'm, I'm, I'm almost obligated to agree with you. It, it, it works only in very, very special cases. So I love that there's no chrome on this. And I love that it's just that nice high gloss piano black around the windows and on the roof, it looks good. And once again, that's a part of the HST model and the HSE, you are not going to get that. One of the other differences is that the HST, which is this model, has a top speed of 140 miles per hour, where the HSE's top speed is gonna top out at 130 miles per hour. So if you want that little bit of extra oomph, you're gonna have to spring for the HST, which really is a blessing in disguise anyways, because it looks much better. The frame around the tail yes. lights is completely blacked out, so it remains consistent with the aesthetic of the car. Absolutely. And it goes all the way back around, and you have beautiful, of course, Range Rover badging, and then right here you have more black paneling above the exhaust. I like the exhaust, but I don't love it because the exhaust tips are not the actual exhaust. So it's an exhaust, it's an exhaust housing, but with the way the exhaust sounds, I'm willing to look past it and it still looks good. So whatever. I do like, again, see how I mentioned not chrome. So you have little, you have a silver trim around this where it says sport, the silver, you have HST in silver and around the Land Rover logo, but it's a matte silver finish. There's no chrome to it. It looks really, really clean and gives it a sportier look, which obviously is very fitting. Of course, with an SUV, you're looking for utility as well as luxury or comfort or maybe even speed. So let's take a look at the trunk space. Not so bad at all. It's not bad at all. Not that, bad at all. It's exactly what perfect. you would expect. It's exactly what you'd expect. You don't, you know, as long as you don't have an SUV and you open the trunk and you're like, that's it, yeah. you know, you pretty much met the criteria. You know what I do love about the trunk space and let it be known, um, it's a lot of times in the back where you put something in the back, you have that carpet. Yeah. But I love the fact that they have a mat to it. Yes. You know, just in case you have anything wet, you put in anything back there, you know, like mm -hmm. that feature is really important. I agree. You, know, you don't want to ruin the uh, material. Yeah. So that all weather mat is perfect. And it is, like you said, it comes with it. You don't have to have it in there. You can take it right out if yeah. you want to. It also does have strap down hooks so you can strap anything down if yeah. you have cargo that you don't want moving around uh -huh. your trunk. Kids are acting out of control like he is. I just strap them down like quiet. Oh, this guy you strap them down. The back seat also does fold down. So if you need more cargo space, mm -hmm. you fold that back seat down. If only two of you are traveling on a long road trip and you need to load up the car, you can fold the middle seats down. And I don't know how I feel with the price point of this car about the seats not going down electronically. You do have to do it manually, but it's a Range Rover Sport. You can look past it. It's straight luxury, so you know what? We'll cut them some slack there. It does have a power tailgate, so I can hit this button. The power tailgate drops down, and we see the beautiful back end once again. Take a look. I love this little lip right here that, that that makes the range rover pop yeah. so much more i love how that always sets up it is it is nice airflow you do have a tiny little um you know satellite there antenna for the radio everything mm -hmm. like that but i like how they made it look like a little fin it looks aesthetic to the car it looks sharp it looks clean and this Range Rover will tell you it'll account for a little bit more, you know, air, better airflow, a little bit more downforce. I don't know if I totally buy it, but you know, it probably accounts for a little bit. One thing that's really cool is that when you are behind this vehicle going down the road, it has a beautiful red LED light right in here. When you hit the brakes, that light comes on, lets you know as part of the brake lighting system that that car is braking in front of you. It seems small, it seems insignificant, but especially at night when you're behind one of these things and it hit the brakes, it looks absolutely beautiful, elegant, everything you would expect from the exterior of a Range Rover, this car delivers, in my opinion. Range Rover is always doing it on another level. I'm super impressed with the outside, hands down. Like it, it won me over besides this little hiccup right here. But like, enough about the outside. I wanna talk about the inside. Tell me I don't look good in this car. 
I don't Ch- know what you're talking about. Tell me I don't look good in this car. We all grown men here. Nothing about you looks sexy. That's in the crazy. Car. I'm done with okay. you. <laughs> We're in a Range Rover. How do you feel? How I do you feel, feel? Amazing, dude. I feel absolutely amazing. I I've always wanted one of these things. I will always want one of these things until the day I hopefully can say I have one. Dude, the steering is unbelievable. The acceleration, there's barely any lag in this thing. The sport um, exhaust sounds absolutely incredible. Dude, this Alcantara steering wheel is just, it's killing me right now in the best way possible. I got Alcantara covered on the shifter and all this technology in front of me. I'm just, I'm in heaven, dude. I'm in absolute really? freaking heaven right now. What do you, how does it feel as a passenger? Like, how's the ride feel? How's it, you know? I, I'm, in a luxury SUV right basically you know does it get no better and um I feel like I'm a part of the journey just as well as you're driving right like you know it's um this double sunroof over here is like really amazing to me Mm -hmm. I'm getting the light come down on us but um that's always a big option that I love that the fact is like you could just get get as much sun as you possibly into the vehicle Mm -hmm. but also you could shut it out when you want to yeah but I like that you touched on, on the fact that you feel part of the drive because everything is configured um, in this car and you can just tell where it doesn't shut anybody out. You feel part of the journey the whole way yeah. through. The, everything is so interactive and it's nothing shut off to, and closed off to the passenger. I love the touchscreen functions and here I got climate control and everything down here with some vehicle settings. And then right above that, I have you know my navigation, my media, my radio, my Bluetooth, all those things. This car does have Apple CarPlay and Android. Um, so that's, that's gonna be a definite plus. Take a look at this, because you know how critical I am with those digital dashes, right? Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about. If you're going to do a digital dash, this is still all you need, man. This is all you need. I got miles per hour on the left. I got my RPMs on the right. That's it. That's it. I have some beautiful steering wheel buttons that will allow me to do some functions on the digital dash. It's clean. It's yes. concise. Yes. It's beautiful. And it's it, and it's packed with technology. I already have two giant, you know, 10-inch touchscreens here and here. My navigation, my media, all that. I don't need a busy, busy digital dash. I don't need it. But one thing I do want to touch on, though. Tell me. This, touch it. This back seat. If you want the Range Rover Sport, you will sacrifice a little bit of legroom um, in the back seat compared to something like a Range Rover SVR or something that's a little bit more full bodied um, and is going to give you a little bit more leg room in the back. As beautiful as the outside is, it's so clean in the inside. So clean. The combination from the off white to the black, it just blends in perfectly. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, this just brings that luxury look. You know what's great is that Range Rover actually calls this interior ebony and ivory. No way. Working in perfect harmony, baby. You Working know in perfect harmony, love <laughs> it. Like, that's what, love like, it. Th- this is literally called the ebony and ivory interior with the Fuji white exterior. And man, it is just so nice. Even put your head back and just feel like how comfortable the headrest is. And I love everything in here looks expensive. The paddle shifters with that matte silver finish look expensive. The buttons, you know, it's they're not they're not just plain and plastic like something like say a G-Wagon. They got that nice matte silver finish on it, all matte silver everywhere you look. Everything feels and looks expensive. Little accents of that silver, and it just gives it that expensive look, and it looks so well. Keeps spending expensive. The question is. What is the going price on this car? Because it is expensive. Yes, it is expensive. And that's why it looks expensive. Exactly. And the going price on this particular car that we are driving right now is about $86,800. So you're going to shed, you it's know. Not bad. It's, it's not bad. It's really, dude, it's not bad at all. Are you kidding me? And, you know, so with, with tax tag and title fees and everything like that, you're probably going to be looking to anywhere from 90 to maybe 92 grand. And I'm telling you what. For something like this, if I'm not breaking the $100,000 mark, you are winning. Absolutely. You are winning. Now you know what it is to be driven by a real G right now. Man, now you know what it's like to drive a real G. (laughs) Well, let me tell you something. This is 
one of the first times I have ever driven with a steering wheel with the Alcantara. And I'm telling you right now, as a person, you could totally feel the difference. Dude. Like, yeah, absolutely. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's like, I mean, ugh. it's like holding, hold, holding this in your hand is like cracking over open play-doh and like how you just can't stop playing yes, with play-doh you get mesmerized like, yeah, by yeah, it yeah yeah that's exactly how it is dude i'm telling you it's like i always yeah. i hate to keep going back to it but it's such a nice it's just such a nice material especially on a steering wheel i love the armrest that's here and i love the always love this feature of this extra armrest right they give you the here, choice but it gives you the choice um and then the refrigerator inside is like game changer the refrigerator yeah the refrigerator look at that man open that up right there wait what yeah yeah it's a refrigerator there you cool in put your no energy drinks way. in. Yeah, what you know about that man how about the power how, how's the power you got the you got the three liter right, let's turbo. give it a go all right three liter three liter turbocharged six cylinder here we go Oof. okay you okay. got a little delay little yeah tiny bit of lag but tiny delay but overall it picks up once she got going oh yeah it that picks was, up yeah it, that was it you know what i mean and this does have don't forget we're doing 395 horsepower in this bad boy it's no slacker oh. are you happy <laughs> am i happy don't dude. slam my door i don't need to oh dude what Honestly, a... the only thing that can make me happier is if I didn't have to give this back. Please don't make me give this back, country. Well, listen, we have to give it back. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, I love this car so much. As far as the exterior goes, that's a solid 9.5 out of 10. Okay. The interior is a solid 10. I might sound a little biased. I am. All right. This is a dream SUV of mine. Oh my God. Well, that hey, was guys. Unreal. This could be you. That is true. This could be you. If you are a dealer or an individual and you would like a vehicle tested and reviewed by the Pulse Rally Testing family and yours truly, hit us up on any of our socials. We would love to connect with you. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Hit us up on Instagram at Pulse Rally Testing. And until then, we will see you next time. Yo. You, you want me to take a ride with you?